to my channel so I'm currently practicing social distancing <laughs> but um, I've actually just been home this weekend and I've actually done a lot of baking I've made some homemade sourdough and I've also made some banana cake but I've actually been meaning to for a while um, make some kombucha so I buy it all the time at the shops and I really really like it so I thought why not try and make some myself? It doesn't seem too hard by the looks of the recipe that I have seen. So I thought, why not make some? But I thought I would make this into a little series on my YouTube channel because otherwise I'd have to wait like a month and a half for the whole process to be over. So the first one will be me making the scoby, which is one of the main ingredients to make your kombucha. Hopefully I can pull it off. But essentially what kombucha is, it's just a live cultured drink which is full of good bacteria, which is good for your gut. And you can make it into heaps of different flavors. So I thought I would show you how I make it. Actually, don't need that many ingredients. Most likely you've already got this in your cupboard at home. But what this recipe includes is seven cups of water. And I just added four cups into a saucepan and brought that to the boil. So when I took the water off the heat, I then added four black tea bags. I just used the morning tea. I also added half a cup of white granulated sugar, which I mixed around with the tea bags until it dissolved. Then I added three more cups of cold water and then I just let that sit on the bench until it was cool. So another thing that this recipe includes is an already store-bought kombucha, but it has to be an original flavor. So it's got no flavor in it at all. And I found this really hard to find. I looked in all the supermarkets and couldn't find it anywhere, but my local health food shop actually stocks some, which is just the Remedy brand kombucha. So once my tea mixture had cooled, I poured that into a big glass jar. I just used a little drink dispenser that I had in the cupboard. And then I added in one cup of the original kombucha. And that's pretty much all you do. You give that a stir. And then I just grabbed a clean tea towel and placed it over the top of the jar and then added elastic bands to secure it. And then I just placed it in the cupboard because they say don't leave your scoby mixture out in the sun because it will interrupt the fermenting process. So I've done all that and I've put it in the cupboard and now I just have to wait. It says it can take one to four weeks for a scoby to form. So they say first bubbles will appear and then it will eventually form into a film. That is what I have done. I am crossing my fingers that it turns out good. Um, I've never made this before, so I'm bringing you along with me. So this is just more of a me attempting to make kombucha rather than a tutorial on how to make kombucha because I really don't know how it's gonna turn out, but um, it will be a fun little experiment to see how it goes. The recipe that I've printed off, it says, your scoby is forming normally and healthy. If you see bubbles, clear jelly-like masses, opaque jelly-like masses, stringy or gritty brown bits, also, if the tea smells fresh, tart, and slightly vinegary. And it also says that your finished scoby is normal and healthy if it's about a quarter inch thick and opaque. But this is the first episode, you could call it, um, of just me attempting to make kombucha. So this is just a nice, quick, and short video. I hope you liked it, and maybe if you want to make some kombucha too, follow along with me and comment below what you think. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.